大家好，我係陳思敏，第一區市參市 Connie Chan， 我代表三藩市嘅力治民區。自從大學畢業之後咧，就喺三藩市嘅市府咧，喺唔同嘅部門度工作。My name is Connie Chan. I am District One Supervisor, and I'm running for re-election、uh, for the next four years. And so here I am. Okay, so I know there are some questions for me today, so I'm gonna. Figure this out. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, are you an animal lover? If so, what is your spirit animal and why? Well, first of all, who isn't an animal lover? We all are. We have to be. My spirit animal. I have to say, I am clearly Chinese American, so I was born in the year of the little horse. So I would say that is my spirit animal, and、uh, I'm very excited about it. In fact, I would nickname myself a workhorse because I work really, really hard. All right. If you could only eat one type of food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh boy, my son asks me questions all the time. I would have to say it's probably either sushi or roast duck. If you never tried it, so good, so good. Especially if it's Peking duck. <laughs> what is the most exciting part of your day? The fact that as a supervisor, my day is so different every day. That makes it very exciting in itself. I could do TV interview, radio show, but also committee hearing, department briefing. Sometimes there are crises、uh, in the Richmond. My day, I would say, is very exciting as a supervisor. What is the last TV show you binge watch? I don't really have a lot of time to watch TV show, unfortunately. And when I do, usually it's like three o'clock in the morning when I can't sleep. I watch Korean show,、uh, any kind of soap. Because then it forced me to read the subtitle, so I don't think much. What is your favorite spot to work from home in the closet? <laughs> and because it's quiet and I sit in the corner and no one can bug me, what is the most adventurous thing you have ever done? I say run for office. It's not for the faint of heart. It's amazing to run for office, to be supervisor. You put yourself out there all day long. What is your most used app on your phone, and why do you love it? If you ask me on a downtime, I'm not doing anything. Pinterest. Pinterest is what I most use on my phone, and I love it because it's my. Like a closet, it's like my quiet space. I get to imagine things and look at things, pretty things. But I do look at cooking, like video, a lot. Now is the time to unleash your creative vision and ideas. First, choose one event for a celebration, and then pick three or four of the three cities' champions. You can pick one event in the middle to create this event. Tell us why. Okay, this I'm very excited about. I'm very excited about. This is like very fascinating. Yi Ping Lantern Festival in Thailand. Okay, if you don't know, I live in Thailand for six months. Swatika, Golden Gate Bridge, Chinatown, Union Square. I think that if I were to host the Yi Ping Lantern Festival, it would probably be Union Square. I think this is the moment where our downtown needs a lot of love. And it is a moment where we should really bring diverse cultures and events and language. I think that we have showcased a lot of cultures in Union Square, but we have yet to show off、um, Thai culture. So I think that that will be a great space. So I'm gonna shake it up. Oh, running of the bulls in Spain. This will be a tough pick in San Francisco. Gurdelli Square. Fairy Building Marketplace. I don't think so. This is too crowded. Japan Town. Oh my goodness! I think this is gonna be super hard. I would probably pick、uh, Gilladeli Square for running with the bulls. Why? It's by the water. There is Fort Mason nearby. There are the hills, so hopefully they won't really run up to the hills. But if they do, it will be hard for them, and we can slow them down. But it's a dangerous, very dangerous sport. I wouldn't recommend it. 咁而家咧就從你個選區入面咧抽兩個社區，講一講你中意嘅部分，以及覺得佢哋需要改進嘅地方。Okay, let's do this one. Outer Richmond. So Outer Richmond is where I live. I live at 43rd and Point Lobos. I love the Outer Richmond because it has the ocean beach, it has Golden Gate Park. We are walking distance to Sutro Heights and Lands End, and you can see the great view of Golden Gate. Bridge is awesome. While I love it,、uh, 
uh, what I hope to see more and better is Cliff House. Cliff House has been closed for four years. It is my goal and I'm determined um, to make sure that the Cliff House is going to open for all to enjoy. It's a historical landmark and we love that space. All San Franciscans deserve to see the glory of Cliff, Cliff House. <gasps> Sutro Heights. I feel like that's like all the great area, but also like natural areas in the Richmond. Sutro Heights is wonderful. Um, because if you don't know it, uh, it's also where Sutro Bath is. It used to be a huge swimming pool. Everybody can swim in it. It's a great area to hike and uh, I love it. It's a great view. It's natural areas. What I think that we can do better is probably graffiti. Because it's so out there, the concrete area has a lot of graffiti. Oh, one more thing I would love to see is bathroom. You know, when you hike and drink water and do all the stuff, you probably want to have a bathroom nearby. This is the San Francisco ballot measure on November 5th, changes to business tax. This one, I support it uh, because we know that San Francisco is in need of business tax reform. The great thing about this measure, though, is that for any small business with the gross receipts, $5 million or less, you're going to be waived the gross receipts. Previously, it's really $2 million and less, and I think that's a great thing, knowing that small businesses are the backbone of the San Francisco's economy. Um, I, I definitely support that. Clearly, it changed some of the brackets, tiering of different kind of industries, but I think it's time for us to do some reform and uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh, California Prop 32 minimum wage increases to 18 hours by 2026. Well, let me just say that regrettably in San Francisco, $18 even you know by 2026 is not living wage. I certainly agree $18 an hour by 2026, but I really hope that we really solve this problem because at the end of the day, you gotta pay rent, you gotta pay mortgage, you gotta do a lot of things, and if the wage doesn't increase and keep up with inflation, we're gonna lose a lot of people and we're gonna see an increase of homelessness that people don't get to really keep their jobs and keep their home. All right, last but not least, let's see this, okay. Ah, San Francisco Unified District Improvements Bond, which is really a $790 million of it. Let me just say this, once we've been through pandemic, we recognize a few things about our school district in terms of school sites. It is really HVAC system, which is for our air system uh, for our kids, and then also water. We wanna make sure that water uh, source is safe for our kids to drink. And then we also realize our kids don't really have fast enough of Wi-Fi. These are actually the reason why it took so long for our kids to return to school in person. And it's the reason why I do believe we need to invest to improve our school system. Those infrastructures are critical for our kids to be able to learn in a very safe and healthy environment. So absolutely yes to the 790 million school bonds. 很多謝正明講,讓我一個機會你答這些問題,因為我覺得呢,係時候呢,講更加多唔同嘅政治嘅問題,但係俾少少一啲空間我哋能夠有機會講唔同嘅答案同埋諗唔同嘅嘢。